Snipe sailing is a, racing is a challenge. Snipe racing is so much fun. Snipe racing is intense. And it's just a really, really fun boat. Snipe racing is very competitive and a lot of fun. No doubt about it. It's serious but fun. Anybody can be a snipe racer. Um, the, the great thing about snipe racing is you'll have uh, dads with daughters, moms with their sons come out. You'll have grandparents sail with their grandchildren. It allows a big skipper to sail with a small crew and then two average sized persons can sail together and vice versa. Snipe's a very technical boat. I mean, it's, uh, you have so many different controls than your average dinghy. I'm a laser sailor, typically. And there you only have four controls. You know, you have the bang, the Cunningham, the outhaul, and the main G. And I think I learned more about rigging and tuning a boat from that month in the Snipe than I have in my entire 10 years of junior sailing. Everything in the Snipe will bring you to be a better sailor. The numbers are incredible of people that have gone through a snipe. Mark Reynolds, he's a snipe sailor. Torben Grell just won the Volvo. George Zabel. So I think the preparation that you get uh, in, in sailing snipes is huge. Snipe racing is probably the most fun racing I do because it's, it's not an Olympic class, but it's a family class. Yet you have people of the Olympic caliber, the international caliber, who come and race in the snipe and practice in the snipe. And so you have a really high level of racing without the ultra tense um, competition that you see in the Olympic classes. In college sailing, everyone's kind of keeping their secrets to themselves and they're not really to talk about like all their tricks of the trade and all that stuff. But uh, here you can go up and talk to Augie Diaz or his, his dad, even um, and Ernesto, and everyone's willing to uh, talk to you and improve the, improve the sport. One of the things that's really nice about snipe sailing is that we have great competition on the water and great camaraderie off the water. And one thing you can be assured of, when you show up to a, a snipe class, you're going to have friends. Everybody there is going to be your friend. And by the time you leave, you'll have some friends too, even more than what you showed up with. The snipe is probably, the of the international classes, is the one that's represented in most uh, countries. We have people all over the world that we sail against. It's like a little brotherhood. Snipe racing can be raced on small lakes. Um, happens a lot in the northeast. Um, out in the west, most of it's in the ocean. You get a lot of younger sailors who come in, and they come from classes like the Laser, the 420, or the Opti, where they just have one youth sailor sailing alone or with another sailor their own age. And when they come to the Snipe class, they're on a boat, usually with another adult, and you learn so much by sailing with that adult. You learn sportsmanship, you learn more technical aspects of the boat. My dad's not, when we're on the water, it's, he's not really my dad anymore. It's more of a skipper slash friend kind of thing, not a dad sort of thing. Sailing with my father is, has, is only second to sailing with my son, Lucas. You can absolutely sail snipe your whole life. Yep, my sister and I started sailing him when I was 14 and she was 15, and uh, I plan on sailing him for years to come. 